If you've always loved the idea of writing a huge multi-plot line, multi-POV story, but getting started has held you back, you're not alone. It happens to me too. But recently I found a method to make it much easier with an old project that I loved, but I'd given up on. Stick with me and by the end of this video, you will have three actionable steps to get your story off the ground because honestly, that's often the hardest part. If you're new here, I'm Kieran. I make videos supporting and encouraging writers to tell their best stories and to have fun while doing it. And I've teamed up with Millinote for this video, so a huge thanks to them for sponsoring this one. More about that shortly. Here's the situation I'm in right now. I bet it'll sound familiar. So a little while ago, I started a story that I never finished because I wasn't sure I was coming at it quite right or how my ideas fit together. I had a lot of ideas, but they weren't organized at all. And I sort of got stuck. I tried notebooks, I used post-it notes, I even bought a storyboard book, but none of it quite had what I needed, this one thing that could actually get my story moving. I think the reason it can be so hard to start a complex or a big story is because all of your ideas and story elements are vying for position in your mind all at once. It's like a bunch of people all trying to get through a door at the same time. It's the same with stories. Your brain can only really focus on one idea at a time in any detail. Meanwhile, you've got all these other ideas that you want to get to as well. And I don't know about you, but I can't really control which ideas grab my attention at any particular time. Stuff comes to me out of order, something just bursts through the door first. What if you don't want to start your story with the first idea that burst in? What if that idea was for later or it's something you don't even understand yet? It would be really nice to be able to capture ideas and move them around and organize them. And I don't know about your brain, but mine can't really do that. You can't really do it in a notebook either or a Word document without scrolling back and forth and copy and pasting and control and F. But you can do that with Milanote. In fact, that's exactly what it's designed for. If you're not familiar, Milanote's a tool for making creative projects easier to manage. And it's exactly what I was looking for to solve that ideas stuck in the door problem. It functions like a kind of digital corkboard to which you can add labels, images, notes, videos, even actual manuscript pages and writing any way that you want. So if you have a load of ideas, or even just one huge one, you can get them all down without needing to know exactly where to start. You can get all of that information out of your head and into a place where it's easier to access and easier to work with. That old project I mentioned is called Interlopers. It's a kind of interconnected web of a hundred word stories that span across multiple time periods and characters and locations. I've got almost 50 separate stories so far, all festering in one Google Docs page. They're disorganized, and to be honest, the task of sorting them out was so overwhelming, I just gave up on it. Milanote has solved this problem for me with their story outline template. As you can see, story outline is just one of 10 templates they've got. And that's just the ones that are specifically made for writers. Beyond that, there are so many more, as well as the ability to just build a board entirely to your own specifications. Let me show you how I got my story started again. This is how I devised those simple three steps to help you get yours started as well. So I took that disorganized, disjointed, overwhelming project and I turned it into this. This is my Milanote board for interlopers. Each of these banners here represents a story. This is exactly what I needed. The ability to set out all the stories or representations of them in a place where I could see them. Not only that, but I can move them around. So if like me, the first idea you thought up for your story isn't necessarily gonna be the opening, it's an idea that might come later. You can still start now and make an entry for it and simply move it to the end or back to the middle or wherever you want. I can't tell you how much that simple feature alone has helped me plan further into this story than I could get before. It's removed this whole knot of disorganized stories that was making me avoid the project entirely. With this, I can tackle this huge interconnected story by just moving things where I need to be. And if that's still not quite the right place, I just move them again. That's helpful, but as you can see from these colored arrows and the little key I've created for myself up here, that's not the only way to organize your stories or ideas, whatever it is for you. Those three colors up there are the main plot lines of interlopers that I've nicknamed the thread, the chorus, and the chase. As you can see, I've marked each story with the color that corresponds to the plot line it's from, and those arrows help me connect them visually as well. Chronologically, the story goes from left to right, but these arrows will help me jump between storylines or plot lines quickly and clearly. 
when there's larger gaps between them. This will help me figure out the rhythm and the pacing of the story so that no one plot line drops off for too long or comes up too often. A lot of what Millanote does is take all of those loose story threads in your mind and hold them for you so you can get back to the root of what you're writing without having to manage them all. There's so much that gets in the way of my creative process, especially with a more complex project, and I needed something like this so that when I'm feeling inspired, I can quickly get to the writing I want to do and not have to scroll around and figure out where I need to be. Inspiration is so fleeting. It's so easy for the shine to come off a new idea if you don't in some way capture it while it's fresh. And Milanote's great for catching inspiration and preserving it, I think. For example, each of my story labels isn't just a label. It's a mini fact sheet about each story complete with an inspiration image, a note on the characters and locations, and in my case, even a link to the actual 100 word story itself, but you could easily just add in an outline or notes in here if you wanted. Having those panels as prompts is so helpful for getting back into the headspace I was in when I came up with the idea originally. As a visual thinker and visual writer, whatever that means, having something to look at that's more than just a few lines of weird, vague notes makes a big difference. But even further than that, because Milanote lets you put a board within a board, each of my story labels here contains another board. This is my favorite feature and the one that's most helpful in getting stories started. It's another template designed for writers. This one's called Brainstorming and it is the place to house your story inspiration. Let me show you the one that I made for my opening story that way. So I just click straight into it from here. And as you can see, this is a visual representation of what my story will be. Like I said, I'm a visual thinker. A lot of my inspiration comes from scenes that I imagine before I start writing. And this is the place where I can create a sense of them. While the idea is still brand new and shiny and I'm feeling inspired, I can note down details about it here to capture that feeling. It's this step that I think really can make all the difference between just endlessly planning a story and getting one started. This is the bridge that will take you from, I'd really like to write that story to I'm writing that story. Once that story exists beyond your mind and there's a tangible trace of it, even just a sense of it like this, it's so much harder to forget it again and to let it slip away. My story inspiration or my brainstorm is set out like this with the title of the story in the center. Then I have an offshoot for characters just here. So I've noted which ones will appear in the story and just a sentence about who they are. And there is a template board within Milanote for character profiles too. So you could always add a more in depth one here if you wanted. My next offshoot is the wider location of the story. In this case, the fictional tiny desert town of Lupus, population 36. I've just left a quick few notes there for myself about why I've chosen this setting really. Then for this offshoot, I focused in to the location of the scenes of the story in a bit more detail. That's gonna be Motel Julius, the last stop before the open desert. I've been able to grab some supporting images here as well, just to give me an idea of what the place might look like. If you've got artwork relating to your story or images that you've already found, it's easy to just add those onto your board. Milanote has a function for that. But better yet, there's an inbuilt image search so that you can find a picture that supports your story and drag it onto your board in literally seconds. Lastly then, I've used the final offshoot to give myself an idea of the themes of this particular story, what I want the feel of it to be. I've just used images for this again, but added simple captions to each as a reminder. This is the abstract stuff that's really hard to define and having something there to look at for me really helps. Like I said before, I'm all about supporting and encouraging writers. And if you're part of a writer's group or you have writing friends, you can share your board with them. So much of writing is you just sitting alone at your computer, hoping things make sense. To be able to let people in who will support and help you is a great feature. So if you're working on a story right now, definitely take a look at Milano, whatever stage of your story you're at. It's free to use and it could very well be the way to stop hoping you'll do it and to start doing it. There's a link in the description and it would be a great help to me and a great way to support my channel if you'd check it out. I wouldn't have looked at my Interlopers project again if it weren't for Milano. So before I give you those three steps to finally get your story started, I wanna say a huge thanks again to Milano for sponsoring the video. So let's talk about you. Have you, like me, got a story in mind or bits and pieces of one that come to you every now and again? Maybe it's your first ever story, maybe it's just your latest. But when you think about how to start, you're drawing a blank or worse, you're thinking, that's not gonna work. It'll be too hard. It might turn out bad, so what's the point? I wanna get you past that spot. I want your story to go from just living in your mind to existing beyond it and I wanna do it today. 
a novel, a short story, a poem, whatever it is, let's start it right now. To help you do that, I wanna take all the mystery and the barriers and the procrastination out of the equation the same way I did for myself with a simple Milanote board. So here's my three steps. Follow along right now or re-watch this later and try it out. Step one is to follow the free link in the description and in the pinned comment and open a board for your idea. Just add one note with some words about whatever your idea is. There's no wrong answer here. And if you want to expand beyond just a note, feel free to add an image too. All you have to do is drag and drop. Then step two, grab another note and move it near the first. In this one, you're going to write what you know about what's going to happen in your story. The events, people doing things, going places, stuff happening. If you know more than one event, add another note and another. Again, add images or anything else that you might want from the sidebar just drag it wherever you need it. Then step three, the last step is to grab a final note. And in this one, we're gonna write something abstract about our story. How do we want our story to feel? What's the meaning we want? Is there a message to the story or an atmosphere maybe? This would be a great time to use pictures. I'm gonna do that. And if you have any other details about your story, anything else that's been rattling around in your mind or that comes to you as you're doing this, Add that on to until everything you can think of is on the board. If you follow those three steps, you'll probably realize you actually know way more than you thought about your story and you had more to go on. It might surprise you how much you can expand it and fill it out now that you've got space in your mind because you're getting stuff out. Now, when you attempt to start writing that story, you'll no longer have just a blank page in front of you that's no help whatsoever. Instead, you'll have all your inspiration supporting you, everything that made you want to write the story in the first place, which will make it a lot easier to get going. And if you need a bit more help about where exactly to go from there, watch this video next for exactly that. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Milano, and as always, happy writing.